All right, let's go across to Saurav Gupta who has some breaking news for us and it is that Parambir Singh who was replaced as Mumbai Police Commissioner over lapses in the Antila case has now uh, written an explosive letter to the Chief Minister uh, Uddhav Thakre. So we have now, uh, Saurav Gupta has the contents, has uh, uh, taken a look at the contents of this letter and it is an explosive one. Saurav, what, uh, what does this say? Well, you know, this is a letter that uh, has been written by uh, the former police commissioner of Mumbai and, uh, you know, we've been trying to get a word from him, especially on what the letter is and whether he is indeed the author of the letter. Uh, but it seems to be confirmed from different other sources that, yes, he has written uh, this letter and it's quite explosive. Uh, he's written the letter to the chief minister of Maharashtra, Uddhav Thakre, <coughs> and he says, uh, you know, that... Uh, and he lays the blame at the Home Minister's door. <coughs> Anil Deshmukh, who is the Home Minister of Maharashtra, he says that uh, Han Anil Deshmukh repeatedly summoned Sachin Vaze to his office and, you know, and also apparently asked for some sort of collection. And he mentions dates and he mentions, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, that are there. And he also says that uh, this was... Uh, you know, something, there was a target set of 100 crores and uh, this is uh, something that he has been discussing, uh, you know, with Vaze as well. Now, you would remember Sachin Vaze is at the center of a controversy uh, in connection with, <coughs> in connection with the Antilla uh, case and uh, this is something that, uh, uh, you know, the, it, the letter from the letter, it seems that he's blaming the Home Minister for hmm. interfering in how the police function <coughs> and, and several other things that are there. <coughs> he also says that there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, it is it is not out of place to mention that there is not an iota or material evidence far from proof <coughs> found against <coughs> me or... <coughs> All right, sort of. Oh, I'm going to give you a second to just uh, catch your breath over there, clear your throat. But uh, you are reporting that there is now an explosive twist in the Antilla case because now the former Mumbai Police Commissioner uh, Parambir Singh has written this explosive letter uh, to the Chief Minister where he has accused the Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh of ex. Torsion, really, I think that's uh, that's what he's saying. So, what are the? Have we gotten a reaction from uh, the Home Minister? I'm sure everybody is trying to get him to react to these charges. One, uh, sort of, and um, uh, of course, this must be becoming extremely political in Maharashtra right now. I'm sure the reactions. It'll probably be easier to get a reaction from the BJP on this matter, uh, for sure. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, you know, we're just waiting for a BJP re <coughs> reaction at this point. <coughs> and, uh, you know, this is something that, uh, uh, you know, is is uh, is quite explosive <laughs> in terms of the letter. The letter is something that, uh, letter is something that, you know, it, it, it puts the <coughs> squarely on the Home Minister's door. And uh, that is something that... Uh, the, you know, the government will now have to deal with. Uh, the government is, uh, <coughs> at this point, uh, you know, will have to respond at some point. But obviously, the letter by itself is very explosive. You know, we're trying at least to reach out to Parambir Singh for, you know, a, a confirmation that hmm. it is indeed him. But other sources <laughs> have confirmed <coughs> that it is, uh, in, in fact, Mr. Parambir Singh who has written that letter. All right. Um, all right. We'll try and get a reaction from Mr. Deshmukh. But until then, uh, I think everybody sort of will probably be going back to what he had said earlier this week on the transfer of uh, Parambir Singh. But for now, uh, that is the breaking news. Sala Gupta is going to go get himself a glass of warm water. But uh, the breaking news at this hour right there on NDTV.